Good morning. My name is Lisa Del Bono, and I'm a retired physician, and I'm the founder and current president of Michigan Clinicians for Climate Action. You know, scientists, nurses, doctors, and other health professionals are sounding the alarm bell on the dangerous implications of climate change. These include longer and more severe allergy and asthma se seasons, greater exposure to disease-carrying ticks and mosquitoes, and more frequent and potentially deadly extreme heat and flooding. You see, the climate crisis acts as a threat multiplier, often taking manageable pre-existing conditions and escalating them into health emergencies. We know that burning coal to generate electricity or driving a car powered by fossil fuels puts heat-trapping gases like carbon dioxide and other toxins that pollute the air and water. We know that these byproducts of fossil fuel combustion are driving climate change, and they're making us sick today. And it is why health experts emphasize that solutions to addressing climate change will reduce deadly disease and save lives. The recent UN climate report mirrors what health experts have been saying in over 200 medical journals. And that is the fact if average global temperatures get above 1.5 degrees Celsius, they describe it as being catastrophic to human health. So if we are going to achieve this goal of protecting health by staying under 1.5 degrees Celsius, we absolutely have to act now. And that's why we're calling on the Michigan legislature to do three things. First, they need to pass legislation as soon as possible to ensure 100% carbon-free electricity by 2035. Second, they have to establish policies that conserve energy because if we save energy, it means less pollution in our air and in our water. And third, the legislature must require the Michigan Public Service Commission to regulate big utilities for equity, public health, affordability, and of course, the climate crisis. Solutions like improving energy efficiency and electrifying our homes, schools, and businesses will improve indoor air quality and avoid asthma and other related conditions, especially in children. And cleaner air overall means fewer hospital admissions and tremendous healthcare savings, not only from asthma, but from many chronic conditions like heart disease and lung cancer and dementia and even avoiding preterm deliveries. Cleaner air will ultimately save lives and increase productivity at work and at school. Now we know that Governor Whitmer is a champion for climate solutions, and it's because they are health solutions. This is the moment for the state legislature to pass meaningful legislation that will implement the My Healthy Climate Plan and ensure the health and well-being of Michigan residents today.